Chief, how are you today? You were here yesterday. Nobody informed me. All right. Okay. Mm, bye. Lucia. One of my boyfriends was here yesterday. Is that true? I want to assume that you did not hear my question. I also want to assume that you have suddenly stopped understanding the English language. So, I will rephrase my question. Was Halahaji Hayatu Din here yesterday? He was here. He just called me to inform me how very impolite you were to him. Is that so? Mom, I am tired of standing here every day as if I'm on trial, answering questions about your numerous boyfriends. Besides, it's not my duty to be polite to them. Lucy, did you just shout at me again today? Mom, I should be in school. My mates are all in school. You should be in school. Maybe if you had not opened up your legs very wide for every boy in this town to enter, you would be in school. Not be saddled with a baby at your age. If you had directed me, if you had guided me, if you had played your role as a mother, I wouldn't have been pregnant today and I wouldn't have messed up my life. Lucia. One more abusive word from you, and I will throw you out of my house. Really? But you allowed me to do whatever I wanted. You encouraged me to have numerous boyfriends. So what moral justification do you have to criticize me for having a baby out of wedlock and dropping out of school? Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! Go to your room this moment with this baby without a father. My baby has a father. Oh? Johnson? Okay, no, 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 it's not Johnson. Um, okay. Is it Philip the banker? Oh, sorry, dear. Andrew? Oh, no, no, Chosin? Okay, okay, okay. Gerard? Oh, is it? Patrick. Patrick, yes, Patrick. 
The 419 boy? Lucia, tell me which of your numerous boyfriends is your baby's father? Uh huh. Lucia, my dear, your baby doesn't have a father. Just like you don't know who my father is. Get out of my sight! Go get out of my sight! Virgin Mary. Oh, go ahead. Pray for your sins and mine. You pray every day, yet your prayers have never been able to put food on our table. Anyway, I am going out on business. Make sure you lock the front door. Because as you know, I won't be coming back till tomorrow morning. Hello, sweetie. Oh, 
let me take away your loneliness. Really? But it doesn't need somebody like Hey, 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 hey. Run along, okay? I'm talking to my man here. He doesn't need mm -hmm. somebody like me. Didn't you oh. hear me? Go and find small boys your age, like okay? This here is an elderly man. He's yeah. looking for me. So, what you say, sweetie? <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, just, just, just. Just turn around and see what you look like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like what I see. <laughs> so what do you say? <laughs> Come on, hop in. This one is good. Oh, come on, Abel. Don't you trust me? Trust, Chief. I have an eye for you things. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Chief. Yes. Well, this is fantastic. <sighs> Chief, why don't you give me 20,000 naira and I'll be yours till morning. Well, you see, Isabella, it's not as if you don't want much more than 20,000 now. But you see, for now, 20,000 now is too much. Chief, no! Oh, but I'm offering to take on both of you. That'll be 10,000 naira each. Angel, handsome. I'm sure you don't think 10,000 naira is too much for a baby like me. <laughs> Come on, I'm not game. Why now? Uh-uh. But you're so handsome. Chief, come on, talk to your friend now. Well, you see my friend here, Abel, he lives in Abuja. All right? Good old friend of mine. Old horse. <laughs> uh, he comes into Lagos from time to time to do business. And each time he's here, he stays in my guest house. But you see, there's something about him that you must know. He has his flair for very young girls. I mean, younger girls. <laughs> oh. Yes. Really? But in that case, I have a daughter. You know, I could introduce you to her. And you love her. She's very beautiful. What do you think? Ah, 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 ah. Chief, you know, it's not as if I don't like her, uh, you understand, but you know... Oh, Abel, no, there you go again. There you go again. Listen, listen. 
Take time off your Chief. tight schedule. Chief. Listen, Abel, yeah. you have to learn to unwind. You know what I mean? Losing up. Okay, <laughs> these things are good for the system. Okay, okay. Just okay. check her out, okay? Okay, no problem. No okay. Problem. Yeah. Hmm. So, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, when do I get to meet this, your pretty daughter? I mean, tomorrow morning, why not? The yeah. moment I leave here. Get to murder it. Deal. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you love her. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so while you wait for your angel tomorrow, yeah. let me have what belongs to me tonight. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Joe. Uh, with what I see here, I believe your daughter must be so exquisite. I mean, beautiful. You haven't seen anything yet. She's more lovely than I am. Mm -hmm. You know, she's more than beautiful. Long legs and all. You love her. Oh, you make me jealous. <laughs> I'll be watching. I'll be yours too. And I am wearing your rocket bag. My daughter will soon join us. You know how we ladies are. The way we behave. She's making herself presentable for you. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. More drinks? Oh, no, no, no. This is all right, huh? Um, let me go hurry up once more. Oh, okay. I don't quite get it, Chief. Does this mean that mother and daughter are engaged in the same trade? Well, you've seen it yourself. <laughs> that's what it, that's exactly what it looks like. But it's no business of ours. They sell, we buy. <laughs> that's all. Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Go tell your friends that I will not sell my body for money. God is my witness, I am not going to do it. What is the matter with you, Lucia? When did you become so stupid? Lucia, don't you want us to live in a duplex? Don't you want us to drive in big cars? Don't you want us to become big babes like they call them? Lucia, You see, I won't have to walk the streets anymore. I won't have to hang out in nightclubs anymore. Lucia, our customers will be ministers and senators. They will phone us whenever they need us. All transport expenses paid. Team up with me, Lucia. Please, let's make more money. Let's move up in life. Well, my son here needs a mother, and I intend being a good mother to him. I can say that you are indeed stupid, Lucy. So, how do you think I make the money with which I pay the rent for this flat? How do you think I make the money with which I cater for you and your fatherless child? Oh. Miss Preacher, come on, tell me. Were you not the one who went with two men to Dubai last year and gave them the time of your lives in return for money? That was my past. I did that because those were the values you taught me. That was how you brought me up. But now I know better. I'm for calling my son a fatherless child. Let me ask you, Mom. Do you know who my own father is? Oh, nonsense! Lucia, I ask you for the last time. Paint your lips. Powder your nose. Throw on some fine clothes. Let me go and introduce you to that man. 
Lucia, he's got money. And money is good for a woman. Mother, I am no longer for sale. So, Lucia, you're telling me that the job I do to feed you is no longer good for you? The job I have done to bring you up, up to this age is no longer good for you? Yes, it is no longer good for me. All right. All right, Lucia. It's okay. I will deal with you. There she goes. I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. Um, my daughter won't be able to join us. She has a slight headache. <laughs> <laughs> but she sends her apologies, though. That's all right. Must be on our way, then. I hope you're not too angry with us. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. All right, why don't you give me your numbers in Abuja and in Lagos? You, you can call me whenever you need my services. You know, after a hectic Bob meeting, I could come to your office, give you a relaxing massage, you know, a relaxing rub down. A snappy roll and tumble on your sofa or office table? What do you say? You got it. I'll give it to you, okay? okay. You know your belly's hardly in town. Very well then. Okay. So, two, three, four. Okay. Nine, six. Thank you, Chief. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much, Chief. My regards to Lucia. Oh, she will hear. I'll tell her. All right. Bye, Chief. this? Does it really come to this? If I refuse to sleep with men and give you money and you hate me for it, I can understand. But I don't understand the, the reason why you have to hate my baby. Now mind you, he's a boy and he's going to grow up one day hearing what you're doing to us. Lucia, your baby it's your own responsibility. So why don't you just go out there and work for him? Otherwise, he will grow up 
to find out how his lazy mother refused to go out to work for him. Rubbish! another thing. Um, I have rice, <laughs> I have brown beans, mm. and I have bread. No, 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 I don't need any other food. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. What is your name? My name is Lucia. Lucia. Yeah. Okay. I am Ijoma. Okay. Mm. Please make me your customer. Well, that is if you put for me when I come to Don't buy worry. It. I'll be giving you discount anytime uh, you come. Okay. Yeah? okay then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ten months old, and you're already feeding him on Gary. Eh? No vitamins, no nourishment, no nothing. Only starch. Eh? Well, it's better than inhaling your cigarette smoke, which is disastrous to his health. Get the sugar. I know it's my sugar you stole. Hmm? Anyway, for God's sake, I will allow you this time. But next time, if you steal my sugar, I will throw the food away. Okay? You know, 
go no say she opens her mama. Call a lady, she go fell in the fine her way. You know, go see him again. Duro, duro. I'm a girl. Duro, duro. Muje, muje. This one you are dressed like this. Are you going somewhere? Yes, I am going somewhere. Um, I came to see you for something. Ah, sit down. Baby, how are you? It's fine. What is it? Um, Ijema. Yes. I don't have any friends. <laughs> Please, can my baby stay with you for a little while? I, I want to go somewhere, but I promise I won't take long. I have store and I have market to, to sell. Eh? I have kids in the school. Who will go and bring them back if they're close? Who will I leave the baby with? I know. Please, just do me this favor. Eh? Do, do let him just stay with you. I'm going to come back. Just give me 30 minutes. I'll be back, please. Do you trust me enough to leave your brother in my care? He's not my brother. He's my baby, my child. Your baby? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> See, I, I don't know, but I feel like I trust you. I, I, I trust you. Just let him stay with you, please. What's his Probably, name? Probably, his name is um, Godwin. Godwin. Yeah? Mom, how are you? Please, take Buy him biscuit and pure water or anything when he gets hungry, please. All right. Okay. Don't. I'll be back, right? Please don't stay long, go. No, I won't. I won't stay long. Right. Baby. Okay. Mm, love you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Right. Say bye bye. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Um, I saw a notice at the gate that a nursery school teacher is needed in this school, so I came to inquire about it. Oh, you can see the proprietor, not me. How do I see him, please? That's his office over there. Okay, which one? That one over there, yes. Okay, the right. last door you left. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Much. Yes, we do need a young, good-looking and intelligent girls like you to teach our kindergarten classes. Usually, I don't demand so much for paper qualifications. You see, I, I just take a look at an applicant and I can tell whether he or she is good for the job. But all this, um, I believe you do have a, a good school certificate result. Yes. Uh, it's just that um, I dropped out of the university in my second year while I was studying English. Uh, but I finished secondary school and I have a good result. So. A drop out? Uh, why would a pretty thing like you drop out of school? Finance and um, family reasons. I see. Uh, but uh, if your parent wouldn't pay, didn't you have boyfriends? 
Sarah, it's, it's personal. No, look, nothing is personal when I am going to give you a job. Anyway, we shall come to that. Um, if you are good in your job, the school can even raise you alone to go to school. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, don't mention. Um, uh, bring me original copies of your credentials and uh, an application letter first thing tomorrow morning. And we are going to resume work same tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, yes. Thank you so much, sir. I, I am very grateful. I don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so Oh, God, you've made my day. I think you deserve that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Jama, thank God. And I have a new job. Hey. I'm happy for you. Thank you very much. Hey. Well, then, please, I, I want to ask you for one little favor. I want to drop my baby every morning as I go to work. Then, when I return in the evening, I'll come and pick him up. No, but I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you. Do I hear you say pay me? How? Eh, they're going to be paying me every month, so I want to remove money from there and give to you. That is no payment now. You just keep little things to take care of the baby with. Nothing else. After all, the baby keeps me company since my two children have started school. Hey, boy. Yes. You're such a nice person. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy yes. for you. Thank you. Let me pick my baby so I'll start going eh? okay. I got some old oranges. Do you want some? Yeah, I'm just going to take some. It's happy with my bag, eh? I'm pregnant. Bye, Bye. 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 So if you at least have some decency. For Christ's sake, this is a sitting room. You can do this in your bedroom. Honey, please. Excuse me, okay? Maybe you are the one who should have some sense of decency and step out the door, at least until my love head goes. Oh, aren't you supposed to knock before entry, Miss Decency? Going to my room. No. This is a house of sin. Or is that not what you always call it? So, my dear, step outside. At least until this scene I'm committing is over. Because if you go to your room, you will be forced to hear your mother making sounds of pleasure. And that will also be a sin. Will you not? May God save your soul. Good. Now get out. See, Mom, I am tired. And this baby needs to rest, okay? Get out! Come on. Get out. Get out. When I finish, you may come in, okay?
What is his name? What is your name? Ah! <laughs> ah, the way of this kid. Dun, 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 dun. Don't forget on Saturday. No problem. No problem at all, okay? Thanks for coming. And you, you may go in now, if you like. Lucia, how has today gone? Very fine. Um, the kids are actually warming up to me. I see. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Mm. Praise the Lord that the children are warming up to you. Yes, sir. And I feel it will probably be wise for us to warm up to each other so that the work can go on smoothly. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Yeah, well, it, um... God is wonderful. Such a pretty thing like you. I never know that the uh, grandmother in your cerebral cortex is as uh, fine as you look. 
time. Well. I thank God so much. You see, this job made a lot of cooperation so that we can uh, actually flow along. Yes. Uh, how about that? What do you think? I don't mm -hmm. really. But has somebody ever told you that you uh, are you were uh, dead? Sure. What? What are you trying to do? So you don't like me, Lucia? No, it's not. It's not like I don't like you. It's like what? I, I don't understand what you're trying to do. And now listen to me. Let me be straightforward with you. If you don't want to do what I want, then get ready to lose your job. Lose my job? Yes, as simple as that. God is not going to be happy with you if you... Leave God out of it. Just leave me to God. Somebody I actually want to help. Take. No, I take it. I don't need your money. I take it. It's not a tip. It's your salary advance. Uh, I, I know you need money. So take it. Now listen to me, be a wise girl. In this life, everybody has to do what he or she has to. The name of the game is survival. Good day, sir. Good day. What are you carrying? 
baby things. I went to shop for my baby. And how did you get the money? Have you started stealing from my drawer? I'm not a thief, Mom. And you know it. Look. I got a job as a teacher in a nursery school. And today they paid me my salary advance. That was how I got the money to buy these things. So, what do you think? I see. God, I beg you, touch the heart of the school proprietor. Remove his lust. Let him not think of sleeping with me. But I beg you for this one thing. Please, God, remove it from his mind. Let him see me as your child. Lord, please, I beg you. As I go there tomorrow, I soak myself with the precious blood of Jesus. God, please take control. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Were you going to just leave like that without saying good morning to me? Good morning, Mom. Uh, sorry, I didn't know you were already back. Yeah. Well, I didn't go for business last night. I decided to stay home and rest, if only for one night. Anyway, I brought this electricity bill so that you can bring some money to assist me in settling it now that you are working. Mom, I just started working yesterday. At least wait till the end of the month when I receive my salary. Then I can handle this responsibility. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. If you don't bring some money right now for me to settle this electricity bill, you are not going to any work. Okay? How much is there? I don't know anything. It's about 1,000 there. Now I have to check to work. So, you think it's by teaching little children who urinate all over their body that you are going to become a girl of class and good standing in the society? Hmm? Listen, let me tell you. Big girls have at one time or the other sold their body for money. 
Okay. I don't need this right now. Can I go, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. So, so let's just conclude by saying that the word of God condemns sin of the flesh. You can find that in Isaiah, Acts of the Apostle, John, Peter, and so many other chapters in the Bible. God said that our body are his sanctuary, that we should not defile it. So all this you are preaching means that you will not do? No. Isn't it? It means that God said we should not use our bodies for sin. Now listen to me. If you go now, do not come back. Your services in this school are no longer required. Uh, sir, how can you... <laughs> how can you say that? Of course. After all, your papers do not qualify you for the job. So I have decided to employ a graduate for it. Why are you doing this to me? Just yesterday you commended my teaching. You said I was good. Sir, please don't do this to me. I, I, I beg you in the name of God. Sir, please, I have a son that I need to take care of. Don't do this to me, okay? Please, Excuse please. me, uh, Lucia Owens. I, I have a lot of job to do. I know, You're but disturbing I... me. If you wouldn't mind, go. Please. Sir, I need this job. I need this job. Don't you understand? I need this job. Leave my office. Are you going to leave or not? Nonsense. Look at somebody I'm trying to help. God, why are you doing this to me? I am trying to be a good girl. But you're making it difficult for me. God, do you want me to be a bad girl? Because if you want me to be, I will become one. I cannot watch my baby starve to death. I cannot watch him die. I so much want to be a good mother to him. I really want to. But God, I need to do something. I have to do something. I cannot watch him die. I cannot do it. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. It's ringing. Hello? 
It's Lucia. Please, don't hang up. I'm not coming. I'm not calling to beg for the job. I've agreed to do what you asked me to do. Oh, you have agreed? Yes. Ah, you are indeed a very wise young woman. And now when shall we see? I don't know. Y you tell me. Maybe today. Hmm. In that case, let us see by 2 p.m. Um, no, I, I, can't, I can't make it by 2. Uh, let's say 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. Just come straight to my office. I'll be waiting. I'll be there. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Seventy-five, three minutes. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. We will sort it out somehow. Eh? Okay, maybe the three of us will keep this a secret and you're going to keep your job. How about that? You keep your job. Sit down. Come on, come, come. I say you, Lucia.
This is the mother of the young lady who was killed yesterday in a car accident. I'm sure she had the body so she can identify it. No problem. Come with me, madam. Madam, I'll be in the office waiting. As you have seen, there has been a miss up over the identity of accident casualty who was brought to a mutual and the identity of your daughter who coincidentally was also involved in an accident today. The most possible explanation is that why following the information you got that your daughter was involved in an accident and has been rushed away in an ambulance, you followed the wrong lane to this hospital where coincidentally you have a female accident victim who lost her life. Doctor, are you saying that my daughter was not brought to this particular hospital? Exactly. The casualty brought here, as you have seen, is not your daughter. I suggest you check other hospitals. But before you do that, go home first and check if anybody has come to leave a message for you from her. Your daughter may not even be dead, but I advise you, don't just search for her, only in mortuaries. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll do exactly as you've asked me to do. I'm sorry for bothering you. No problem. Thank you. Life, thank God. Oh, thank God. I was told you were involved in an accident. I rushed over to St. Anne's Hospital. The doctor told me it was a mix up. What exactly happened? Good afternoon, madam. My name is Mrs. Juliana Edwards. Yesterday evening, while I was returning from work, I mistakenly ran into your daughter. I rushed her to Unity Hospital where we took x rays on her and the doctor certified that no bone was broken. Then the doctor sedated her and she slept from the shock of the accident until she woke up this morning and was discharged and I brought her home. Thank you. Thank God. How would I have told the story of her death? A neighbor ran down here to announce to me that my daughter had been involved in an accident. He didn't know where it happened. I rushed out to the street asking people where they knew that uh, um, an accident involving a girl of her age had happened. They told me more would. I rushed down there, only to be told that all the victims of that accident had been taken to St. Anne's Hospital. When I got there, I was told that the girl who had an accident was already a cops. God forbid. But the cops was not my daughter's cops. I found out that it was a mix-up. My accident didn't happen at Morrow. It was at St. Anthony. 
Thank God, my daughter, of course. Because the girl who was run down on Moor Road was killed instantly. Hey! It's not Denusia, I know. Thank you. We truly thank God. Please, let's go. We thank God. Let me have the baby now. Thank you for taking care of him, eh? I thank God for you. Mm -hmm. eh? This kind of news. Anyway, I've been praising God for saving your life. Well, thank you. I'll see you later. Eh? Say hi to your family. Okay? Yeah. 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 All right. I'll be at my show. Take care of yourself and your baby. Yes. I want to live nice and clean. So without temptation, I need your grace to make me strong. So help me God, I have lived badly in the past, I've made so many mistakes. I want to talk to you, Mom. Sit down. come to the bitter conclusion that being a good girl doesn't pay. I tried being a good girl, but what did it get me? Disappointment, degradation, frustration and hardship. So now, I've come to do what you've always wanted me to do. Sell my body for money. Lucia dear, this is the wisest decision you've ever made in your entire life. Believe me, the advantages are many. At least you'll be in control of your own life. You'll always have money in your pocket. You can do many things. You can even save and buy yourself your own car. Oh baby, don't worry. It's going to be perfect. Everything is going to be just all right. Hmm? I'll call, I'll call Chief OK and ask him to connect you to that his friend based in Abuja. Uh, Abel, yes. Who knows? He may even invite you over to Abuja and give you lots of foreign currency. It's going to be okay, dear. It's going to be just perfect. Everything will be okay. Right? I think it's high time you did something about your cough. Oh, don't worry. It'll pass. Okay? Good night. Yes, darling.
Sometimes overnight. You are lucky, you. I thank God for you. Um, where is three thousand there? Yeah. Huh? Um, it's it's just a little token from me. You've been so good to me. I just don't know how to pay you back. Lucia, three thousand there for me. Mm. Hey! Thank you very much. Eh? God will bless you. Uh, when I make more money, I'm going to give you more. But just take care of my baby for me, okay? Thank you. Um, Lucia, the problem of the baby staying in my house or sleeping in my house overnight. You know I'm married with your husband. Eh? But... Don't worry. Hmm? I will talk with my husband about it. I hope he will understand and I will show him this money too. You're such a darling. I don't know what... Just thank you. Don't worry. All right. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Any day, any time. All right. Hmm? No Just work hard and take care of your baby. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. I have to go. Eh? No problem. Okay. Bye. 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 You're not dressed. No. Aren't you going? No. <coughs> now that you are in the business, I will not be going out as much as I was because of my health. I will I will only handle special people who call me because of my health, you understand? And um, it will not be good for you and I to be standing on the road. Okay. But sit down. Let me give you some guidelines. When you go out now, don't stand at the same spot or at any point where other girls stand. It will make you cheap like them. Instead, Instead, search for a clean, quiet, and not too busy road. Fewer cars will come along. 
and those men will treat you with respect. You have to give yourself some class. Hmm? In some small car, stops for you. Don't talk to him. Hmm? Go for elderly men in big cars. They are kind and respectful. But most of all, don't you ever enter into any car that has two men in it. Such men will surely be ritual killers searching for human head. Here. Be wise. Okay. Mention it out to too early in the morning. Well, of course you have to treat me well because I am different from the lot you see around here. Let's check it out. So are you gonna be my daddy tonight? We see. No problem. Yeah. And I hope you be a good daddy to mm. me. Mm. I bet we'll go find on that <sighs> Thirty thousand naira in one night. That is not a bad beginning at all, my dear. Mm -hmm. See? Tell me, which nursery school teaching job can give you that? Even in one month. See? The man was very old. I just removed my mind from what he was doing. And when he was two, he dozed off. And the next thing I knew, he was snoring like a pig. <laughs> Poor fellow. Let me tell you what happened to him there. You gave him more than he bargained for. Anyway. This is to us and all 
sisters out there who are working so hard to earn their living in different ways. <laughs> So, how was your day? Mm, so so. I stayed home. What of Alahaji? I decided to lay him off. <laughs> Do you mind passing him off? Oh, gladly. Sorry, I was just messing with you, okay? <laughs> hey, baby, don't cry. It would be a beautiful idea, though. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Chicken? Okay. Open your mouth. Life is good. Open your mouth. Life oh, you is want good. to feed yourself? Yum, 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 He's a big boy now, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm? Mm. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Are you living without picking a bed? They're all over this place. You better pick one now. <laughs> don't complain when we get home. Look, don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Ha. Then you will have to concentrate on your driving and not stare at our babes, Mr. Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> me. Stare at your babes. Girls you paid to come with you. Girls, street girls. <laughs> It's like, okay, it's, it's right. like you don't know it's me. Right. Leave us with our idea of fun. Yeah, Let's move. move. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Why did you stop? You want to pick a bell at last? The girl I saw is not a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> to somewhere all right um what's your name sorry I don't give my name boys all right um is there anywhere you'd like me to drop you anywhere you're going to? I don't need a right okay hi my guy likes you can we know if you're here on business to know how we'll talk to you? Will I be here by 12 midnight all alone if I'm not on business? Okay. So how much will it cost to take you home? Oh, sorry. I do not follow boys. Look, um, Ken, can you just get into the car? Let's get out of here, please. done this before but if I give you 50 grand would you come home with me how much did you say 50 grand <sighs> mm. 
Where is the money? It's here. Well, you have to pay me before I follow you to anywhere. So... Why are you doing this? What? Why would a pretty girl like you, who could pass for anybody's girlfriend, put herself on street corners at night and 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 on sale? Listen, I am not in the mood for this. Okay, let us get down to it. It's just that you're too beautiful to be doing what you are doing. It's a waste. Really? You can sit down here and say whatever you like. But I have to do this. I need to do this to survive. Okay? I've got a lot of problems. So just, just skip it, okay? So what kind of problem is, is so deep, so big that, that can make a girl of beauty and decency like you, like you walk around at night Selling herself to men, any man. Listen, 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 listen. I don't need this right now. I don't. Nellis, I think I have to start going. Wait, 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 please. Please, I'm sorry. That that was uncalled for. I'm sorry about that. 
Say, I know I walk the street. But you don't have to remind me, okay? You don't have to. I said I'm sorry. Nobody cares about me. My mom don't care a damn thing about me. I'm so good. Okay? Nobody cares. Just forget what I said, okay? I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Please, I'm sorry. Please. God! Must you remind me? Must you? Must you remind me? I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to do that. Oh, God, she's crying. I'm sorry, okay? Please. Okay, you just lie down, okay? I'm not a bad person. I know that. I know you're not. I know. I saw that the first time I saw you. You're making me feel bad. I'm sorry for that. You're making me feel bad. It's morning already. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Baby. It's been nice doing business with you. How come? Wow. One minute. Same way here. Okay. Now I hope to see you again. Same here. Do anything with me. Uh, I can't take your money. Take it. It's yours. No, it. So, 
They suggest that we go and pick up girls. That's why I went with them. Oh, you're making me feel guilty, right? My mom does the same thing I do. That was how I was born. I don't even know who my father is. When I was 14, my mom encouraged me to have boyfriends and collect money from them. Well, I did what my mommy asked me to do, believing that she was the perfect woman. She took me to clubs, parties, we did all kinds of things. We did drugs. By the time I was 20, mm -hmm. I slept with my level 20 something, and I can't even count. And I found out I was pregnant. I like my mom. I don't even know who the father of my son is. All the men disappeared. And I suffered severe hardship. I suffered severe hardship. But after giving breath, I started seeing life differently. I started going to church. Hoping that God will intervene in my situation. Hoping that I was going to be a better mom to my son than my mom was to me. Four months after giving birth, my mom wanted me to go back to the street. And when I refused, she denied me of everything. She wouldn't give me money. She doesn't even want my baby around the house. She made me feel so worthless. So worthless. Unfortunately, I got a job in a nursery school. And there the proprietor was after me. Two days after he employed me, he sat because I refused to sleep with him. But later I went back to sleep with him in order to get back my job. And did he give you a job back? He asked me to come to his office, which I agreed. I went to his office. I found him kissing another female teacher. I felt so useless. I felt worthless. I felt so degraded. You know? So, so degraded. And I found myself running. I started running. Where was going? I didn't know. I just ran. I just ran. I was running. I ran. I just ran. Damn boat. From nowhere. It can't knock me down. It can't knock me down. Won't put food on my table. 
A good girl won't give me money to take care of my child. A good girl won't make my mom and I to be in a good relationship. A good girl won't make people look at me differently. So here I am. Back to what I know how to do best. Back on the streets. What more do you want to know? Or what more can I say? That's the end of my story. I really need to go. Wait, wait, wait. There's no need for that. Okay? Look. You've been crying all night. You've been pressed, okay? I'll take you back later. Take a rest. Alright? First man. First man that has prepared me so nicely. Without wanting my body. To have come all the way from Abuja just to be with my daughter, Lucia. Well, what do I say? I've not seen her yet, but I've seen you. And I know definitely that she'll be fine. <laughs> Me, so I waited. Mom, this is Azina, Azina, my mom. How are you? Fine, ma. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, Lucia, dear. Come, come, come. This is Abel, all the way from Abuja. He's been waiting three hours for you. Oh. How are you, Lucia? 
I'm fine, thank you. Well, now that you're here, I'm fine. Uh, uh, Lucia, I have to go now. Okay, um, I'll see you later. Bye, ma. Bye. Lucia, dear. Abel, I've been talking to him. He's a lively sort, and I'm sure you'll like him. Um, 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 excuse me, I'll, I'll be right back. Lucia? Lucia! to you. No. I feel like I owe you an explanation. Okay? The man in the house, this is my first time of meeting him. My mom sort of arranged him for me. Do you know? I really don't think I want this kind of life. Please take me away. Here before, haven't you? Are you out of your? As in, can I talk to you? All right, uh, Lucia, please um, sit down and make yourself comfortable. Right back. Listen, what are you still hanging around with a girl like this for? That's the problem with you. You are not a game boy. The rules are simple. You get them, deal with them, dump them. Ken, I know what I'm doing. You know what? Listen, Ken, I like the girl, okay? <sighs> That's a bad PR. You know you don't like her. You don't like her. Isn't you it? heard me. Now, I'd like to go inside. Come, come, come. Listen. Ezenna, you are my body. And it is my duty to tell you when you're making a mistake. Ken, you know, the problem with you is that you, you see people from a distance. You never take out time to really get close to them and know who they really are. Now, if we're done here, I'd like to go on. Ezenna. 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 Okay. Let's go upstairs. I believe true love has come to me. Okay, guys, man. What was that? Can that you imagine? She is a I 
just want to run. You don't care about the things I did in the past. I can see. Friends and her pros with me coming here with you again. They don't. Where are you? I just feel like I've known you for a long time. Me too. I can't move. Like. I like you too. So, will you stop? Stop what? What you're doing. Go back to school, live a normal and decent life. Well, I wish I could stop. But I've got it. I need to take care of my baby. My mom is getting weaker and weaker every day. I need to support her financially. I need to take care of my family. So, I really wish I could stop. Are you angry? No. I'm just wondering if a girl like Lucia could change her ways and stop wasting her beauty on the bed of every man who can pay 10,000. Oh, really? Well, thanks for the insult. I think I will state my welcome. For your understanding, don't think I jump into bed with every man I see. Count yourself lucky that I followed you. You can take your bloody money. Don't need it. is very, very unfair. A man lives all he has to do in Abuja and flies all the way down to Lagos just to see you. And you abandon him here since morning? Oh, Lucia, it's a wicked thing to do. Mom, I'm sorry, okay? I promise it's not going to happen again. Has he gone? Of course he has. But anyway, he left an address. He's checked into a hotel. He left the hotel address and the room number in case you're still interested. Fine. Well, after taking my shower, I'll probably go and see him. Lucia, don't you ever do this kind of thing again, okay? I'm sorry, Mom, okay? Meanwhile, Ijoma came with the baby, and I told her, you've traveled. I also told her that I am also traveling. So she went back with the baby. Thanks, Mom.
Baby, you've just shown me that among stones there is a diamond. You're just wonderful. <laughs> you know what? What? I'm considering giving you another check. Wow. This is to take care of your your daily activities. No problem. Yeah. I'm at your service any day, yeah. any time. trying to forget you for the past two weeks now, but, but, but I just can't. So I came out here today to look for you. Well, you heard me. I'm not going anywhere. Even if you pay me a million, Naira, I am not going with you. Okay? If it's about money, I'll pay you a hundred thousand this time. Even if you pay me a million, didn't you hear me? I am not going with you. If money won't make you come with me, will you come with me for free? Will you come with me because I'm here this night because you made a lasting impression on me. Impressive enough to make me feel a certain kind of love for you. W will you come with me because I'm the only one who can tell you the truth, even if it hurts your feelings. 
will you come with me because I, 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 I heard your soul calling out to mine to come that you'll be here this night waiting for me will you your night. Perfect. You sound happy. How much did you make? The perfect thing about my night is that I slept with a man I care about and not because of money. But for the first time in my life, I feel like a real woman. with a man for free in this hard times? Mom, you remember Izuna? There's a guy that brought me home two weeks ago. He's the one. I think I really like him. Lucia, get up right now. Go back to his house and tell him to pay you. Tell him that nothing in this world is for free. Mom, I can't do that. Oh, you will! Of course I won't! You will! Lucy! 
You have started again, not so. You started For again, not so. Once in your life, respect my feelings. Lucia! I am not your slave. Lucia! Lucia, I am sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier today. Please forgive me. It's okay, Mom. No bitterness. me to come to his office tomorrow but you know I can't go because of my health so I told him I'll be sending my daughter the pay is good I want to go mom what's come over you Lucy oh, I don't know mom I don't know but right now I really don't feel like sleeping with anyone. Not for any amount of money. Lucia, you are my daughter, and I love you very much. But you see, I finally realized that you and I can no longer live together. So I'm giving you just one option. It's either you go to keep that appointment for me, with the bank MD by 4 p.m. tomorrow, or you leave this house. Send her in. Send her in. Hi. Good afternoon. This is a surprise. I, I didn't know you were coming. Please sit down. Sit down. Um, I'm glad you came. I've hardly been walking all day. I've been thinking about you. My mom has threatened to throw me out of the house if I don't go and sleep with a certain bag empty. That 
she will order you. If she sends you out, then you simply move into my place. And my baby? Your baby is welcome. And you know that. You don't get it. In this part of the world, people talk. What will your relations say? Your friend? I'm sure some of them have seen me on the streets in the night. Look, I'm not bothered about my relatives, okay? So, um, what would you like to drink? Anything? You're taking this whole thing lightly. Listen, I'm not bothered, okay? I would be if I didn't have a house, but I do. And you are welcome to it. You and your baby. To the bank. I thought I told you about the bank MD yesterday. And I thought I told you that I will not go. I thought I also made it clear to you that you will leave my house if you do not obey me in all things. You can throw me out if you want. But never again in my life will I sleep with anyone because of money. Oh, you think I can't throw you out? Is that what you think? You think I can't throw you out? All right. Get out of my house this minute. Go, you and your baby. Pick your things and get out of my house. And don't you ever come back until you are ready to obey me in all things. Go. I should hate you, Mom. Oh, yes. Hate me. You ungrateful child. Hate me. But I don't. I'm just heartbroken because my mother does not have a heart. <coughs> get out! Of course I will leave. And you will never see me again. Oh, get out! Even if I'm dying, even if I'm sleeping on the street, I will never return to this house. <coughs> get out! Leave my house! Go! <coughs> get out of my house!
And what about your things? I didn't come out with anything. I just don't want anything from the house. Lucia, your mother has been rushed to the hospital. She's critically ill. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw her. Hey, just hold it there, okay? Don't go any further. I'm not interested in anything that has to do with my mother. Okay? I am not interested. Lucia, she's your mother. She's dying. Please. Lucia. If your mother needs you, then you should go and see her, regardless of whatever happened in the past. My mother is mean. She is wicked. And I swear that I will never have anything to do with her the day she threw me and my baby out. So please, just stop all this. I, I just don't know. Please. I don't, I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Please. You should learn how to forgive. Please. Sudan. You know we need to get legally settled down. And we can't do that without the consent of your people. So please, make up with your mother. For us. For the baby. He's our grandchild, you know.
left you for a while. But I came back on you again because my health was failing me. The doctor had diagnosed that I had tuberculosis. And now I'm told that I've tested HIV positive. I don't have long to live anymore. Please forgive me, Lucia. Please forgive me. found a man who's willing to love you for you. A man who will help you to become all that you want to be. I bless you, Union. Please, take care of my daughter for me. I will, man. I promise. Thank you. I do believe I found love. I do believe it's real. I do believe to believe true love has come to me. 